in this video, we're going to look at branches, we're going to look at what they are, and we're going to look at why we should be using them. So here I've got an app, and if I put it in test mode, I've got an error somewhere. Now, Flutterflow in their wisdom, they've either removed the screen that told you what the error was, um, or there's a bug somewhere or whatever, but basically with this, I have literally no idea what the error is, and I've got to try and find it. So uh, this in itself is quite frustrating, but that's a, that's for a different video. Anyway, what I've got here, I've got my main app and you can see there the branch is main, environment is production. Again, product environments are a different video, which I will probably do some point in the future. So branch is where we fork our app. So the app that we're working on stays in its current state and then we can make changes in the fork, which we can either keep or discard or whatever and it protects the work we've done to date so therefore everything I've done here that does work I'm not going to risk breaking stuff that I've got to try and fix because it will stay in this current state now so on the top right hand side here we've got the branching tool so if I click on that and then we get this little pop-up menu and we've got the current branches that are open we've got this one which is the um, the main branch and then this tool here we've got the option to create new branch or create commit. Now, before you create a new branch, it's important that you create a commit because what will happen is it will branch out from your last commit. So if you do not create a commit before you create your branch, the branch you create will be from your from your last commit. So it will not be an up-to-date version of what your current work is. So what we just do, click on commit and it'll ask us to type a message. Let's call it pre-error fix because I know there's an error in there somewhere. Create commit and it's it's saving the commit and it's saved. So then if we go back into the branching tool, that's grayed out because there are no changes that need committing. Now, as you can see, there are no errors showing and it is somewhere in my custom actions here or my custom widgets. The problem is Flutterflow has the red error lines literally everywhere these days, even in all in this stuff at the top. So, and I've not yet found a way to fix that. So it's quite difficult to pick it out in there. So there are a few things we can do, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a branch and we're going to try and fix it that way. So if we then go into branching and then we can then create a new branch. So click on that tool. So our parent branch is the main because that's currently our only branch we've got and give our new branch a name we'll call it call it fix build error and then we're going to create a branch and what it is it's going to then basically duplicate our project and it's running well, essentially parallel so we've got a new branch of the project called fix build error what that means is any changes we make here do not affect our main branch so we go down to the branch tool we've now got two branches we've got the one which is current which is our fixed build error and we've got one called main which is our main one so anything we work on in this branch here does not affect there so we can break this to a heart's content so click on build mode we're still going to have the error obviously but we are building from the fixed build error version of the app not the main branch so as expected we've still got the error because obviously we haven't done anything to fix it so now we can go and spend our time finding the build error and debugging it to try and locate it and fix it so we get our app to build so once we completed our work on this branch so we may just abandon it because we've changed that many things trying to find the error and we've got nowhere and we've just broken it all so it's just abandon it or we may have fixed the error and got it working again so we've our app will build and then once we, if we do do that then we can then merge it back into the main branch so to do that we come back in here we currently have four merge options we've got the two legacy ones which are the merge main into fix builder and the merge fix builder into main and then we've got the git merge options these are new as you can see these are in beta phase and if you go to the flutterflow docs they explain there that basically the legacy may get deprecated because the Git merge version is more robust and obviously uses existing and recognized technology to do what they're doing. However, in this instance, I'm going to be using the legacy, so we're going to be using the merge fix builder into main option. We've fixed our errors 
in this version and what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite our main branch so basically what we'll do is what we've done in here will then become the main branch so this version of the app will overwrite the main branch and that then becomes the main branch although the the branch will still be here or we can do the opposite where we're mainly to fix builder and maybe you want to do that if you got too far and you want to undo it and start again so if you were to work merge main to fix builder you'd then have like a refresh of this particular branch because the branch would still be there until you close the branch which is what you do down here if we click we click on the create new branch option we do then have the option to create a new branch now the parent branch then we do have some options because we can do it from the fixed build error branch which is the one we're currently on or the main branch now we've got another branch there called error fixes and this is one that prior to recording the video i was messing around with this and i thought well actually i'll just might as well do it again and do it on a video so that one is currently closed i'll come to that in a second so we can branch off any of these particular branches so we can rebranch off the main branch and have a new one parallel to that or indeed we can come off the fix build error so if we're working on this branch and we're getting somewhere near with it but we actually there's one particular item that we maybe want to try and change again we can branch off this branch so we duplicate this version of the app and then we can then merge that back in to this one and then likewise back into the main so one of the main reasons you'd maybe want to use branches is for adding features so if you've got an app that functions and you're happy with it but it's, you want to add a new feature to it you're going to do it in a branch because obviously as i've previously explained your work in functioning app is safe and you can add your features because when adding a feature it often includes breaking changes one of the things i did in this particular app this is something i've built purely for my own purposes for creating video ideas scheduling them for dates basically so we've got sort of a, a daily thing here with the calendar and then we have got a custom calendar here which i'm going to do a video on at some point in the very near future anyway one of the things i wanted to do was add the option to get images from my device gallery and store them so i know what the thumbnail is going to be for that particular video so i have them stored in my phone and decided to make them on canva and then i can just do that and i set up a branch specifically for that and that's basically what that was that was using this particular widget that widget didn't exist before i had to come up with a few different ideas on how to do it i tried doing it with the basic flutterflow widget and sort of logic and things but it didn't really work so i went down the custom widget route and that works treat what i did it was a new feature the app was working as it was without images it was working perfectly well but i wanted to add them in so I created a branch called with images because I haven't yet closed it because the main branch is actually if you look at the dates the main branch as you can see is the most up-to-date one anyway but that was there and then I've got another one there for updated calendar so as I said this is a custom calendar when it's loaded it gives you the days of the week for each month and then you tap on that and you get the cupertino picker to change the month apart from the date picker mostly done with a little bit of custom code but mostly flutterflows widgets and i did that in a branch called updated cal again add a new feature because what i had was the main sort of here where you drag and drop your different videos up into the day that you want to post them that was all working fine i didn't want to risk breaking that so i created a new branch called updated cal which allowed me to go and play and break everything to my heart's content to build my custom calendar widget which doesn't look much on there but functions much better when it's loaded so that's just an example of the main thing you'd use these things for if you're adding features branches is the way to go because app you've got built working and you're happy with you're not going to make any breaking changes on it you're not going to put it at risk and you can always dial back any changes you do make and start again it's definitely the way to go but before we continue with the branches and just to close this off i just want to say about that build error message which is really quite infuriating if you click on download the apk which does take a few minutes so i'll come back to this um because we can just carry on but if you click down the apk it will still give you the when it doesn't build it still will give you the errors and where to look from and the other option is of course you can download the code and you can open that in something like vs code and you may be able to trace back your errors that way i fixed my error it was user error as they often are basically 
I've got a custom component and the widget within it didn't exist. So I'd had the object of a custom widget in here called duration picker and actually you can see I've renamed it uh, our minute picker. So in here I had a widget for duration picker which didn't exist. There was no code for it. So hence that was the error. Very simple to do on my part, but there we go. That fixed that. So what it means is I've done with this particular branch. So what I need to do now, go into the branch in and if I create a commit, that will then commit this version and it will save it and then go back into it again and then we want to merge this back into the main so that means the changes I've made here will then be reflected in the main branch so I come down here with a bit of a message setting up merge and then we will get a screen where we have got some more information okay so there are no conflicts so we don't need to worry about that and then non-conflicting changes obviously we have changed our component which is what we exactly wanted to do so that's telling us the things that have changed and the things that are going to change in the in the other version so if we can then click merge and as you can see we're now flicked back to the main branch of the project and in my custom component we have got the hour minute picker that was called duration picker before so that's merged back in as intended and then what we can do this branch here we can now close so we need to go back into it and then on the menu here we just close the fixed build error branch because we're finished with it that's really the crux of these it's super handy if you are creating new features obviously as well like I uh, explained a few minutes ago. So yeah, hopefully that's useful. Hopefully you can use this in your projects. It is, if you're not using it, I thoroughly recommend it. There's no reason not to use it. It's saves you so much heartache and hassle. So that's branches. Hopefully that was good. And I'll speak to you in the next video.